హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ మంజునాథ్ కన్సల్టెంట్ పల్మాలజిస్ట్ మజుంజాసా మెడికల్ సెంటర్ నారాయణ హెల్త్ సిటీ టుడే ఐ విల్ టాక్ ఐ బి టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ఇంటర్సీషియల్ లంగ్ డిసీజెస్ ఇంటర్సీషియల్ లంగ్ డిసీజ్ ద లంగ్ పారంకమా వేర్ ద స్పాంజీనెస్ ఆఫ్ ద లంగ్ విల్ బి లాస్ట్ ద లంగ్స్ విల్ గెట్ ఫైబ్రోసిస్ ఫైబ్రోసిస్ మీన్ ద స్కారింగ్ ఇన్ అ కామన్ టర్మ్ సో లంగ్స్ usually they will be expanding when we do inspiration and comes back to normal position so that will be lost because of that the gas exchange will not happen in those patients with interstitial lung diseases it has it has, there are two and more than 200 different varieties of interstitial lung diseases uh, but this has been classified into those with known causes and unknown causes those with known causes could be because of rheumatological issue autoimmune process exposure to any uh, dust particle like asbestos coal or extra exposure to pigeons unknown cause there is no reason for why this is going to happen so these patients with comes with history of cough breathlessness or when they walk they will feel very breathless and sometimes they sitting also they will have breathlessness that's a progressive disease so this is identified by doing panel of investigations when a patient with interstitial lung disease come to our center what we do is we do uh, investigations and we sit in a multidisciplinary meet and discuss about the what are the possibilities of interstitial uh, pattern of interstitial lung disease so when it, uh, in patients with interstitial lung disease come to us we'll do ct scan which will show different patterns of interstitial lung diseases so in a mdt meeting which comprises of pan- pulmonologist expert radiologist and uh, rheumatologist and sometimes we do have pathologist also when we do a biopsy so we we sit together we'll discuss the patient history exposure history and investigation panel then we'll come to a conclusion so those patients with typical uh, patterns then we will treat them accordingly those with there is a doubtful uh, pattern then we will do what we call inter- lung biopsy so lung biopsy is a simple procedure through the bronchoscope we go to the lungs inside uh, with a camera attached to the tip of the bronchoscope and we will take multiple samples that will be uh, observed under microscope once we get the biopsy report again we sit, sit sit in our mdt discussion and we will come to a conclusion once we get the diagnosis of the patients then we are offer them the treatment the treatment can be divided majorly into a steroid responsive a steroid non responsive steroid responsive those patients with uh, when you give corticosteroid they will do better so those patients with the non steroid responsive there are different medications like anti fibrosis fibrotic fibrosis is halted by these medicines though it's a progressive disease there is somewhat a reduction in the pro- progression of the disease so like perfinodone perfinodone or nidatinib so once the patients are, uh, are into these medications we also offer them what we call pulmonary rehabilitation this pulmonary rehabilitation will reduce the patient symptoms and they help in increasing the quality of life their day to day activities so in in total interstitial lung disease is a fibrosis of the lung which will be diagnosed by doing radiology and uh, different panel of investigations and we do biopsy in re- re- selected patients and we treat according to the different patterns of interstitial lung diseases thank you